Hello, welcome to today's course, Researching Your House's History, where I will be showing you how to locate information on your historical home in Anaheim, California. I am your instructor, Jessica Hernandez. In today's course, we're going to be going over the necessary research skills that you will need in order to locate the information about your historical home. But before we dive into that, I am going to go over a brief history of Anaheim, its historical districts, and hopefully provide you with some information that you can use in your research process that can help inform your searches and provide you with a little bit more information on the area that your home may reside in. Anaheim is the oldest city in Orange County, California. It was founded in 1857 by German farmers, and its name is a combination of two words, the first being Anna, from the nearby Santa Ana River, and Heim, which means home in German. Together, the words literally translate to home by the river. The city was first incorporated in 1876, totaling a population of 881 residents. Today, the city of Anaheim is the 10th largest city in California, coming a long way from its humble beginnings in the 1850s. Because of its long history, Due to the city's long history, the city decided, starting in 1997, to adopt historical districts to protect some of the long existing buildings in the city. Today, these districts encompass approximately two square miles of Anaheim. To the right, you will see a map of the four historical districts that currently are designated in the city of Anaheim. This large green one is Anaheim Colony. This little one inside of it is Hopkins. To the north we have Historic Palm and to the west we have Five Points. I'm now going to go into detail about the four districts and explain some of the unique characteristics of the homes in each area. The first district to be incorporated in 1997 was the Anaheim Colony District. And if you're wondering why it is called Anaheim Colony, it is because its boundaries are actually the original colony that was founded by the German settlers in 1857. Today, the area is encompassed by north, south, east, and west streets. And there are over 1,000 qualified historical structures located within this 1.8 square miles. The city also erected four monuments that serve as the entryway to this district, that you might notice around town. Many of the homes in this area feature a Victorian style, much like the one pictured. The next district to be incorporated was the Five Points District, which was founded in October 2004. This area was originally a part of the Anaheim Colony District. However, the city decided to designate it its own historical district to preserve a large amount of architecturally unique and significant homes. If you're wondering where the name Five Points comes from, this district got its name from the Five Point intersection where Lincoln, West, and Center Street all meet. Next, we have Historic Palm. This district was founded in October 2006 and is named after Palm Street which is currently known as Harbor Boulevard. Harbor, of course, being the street that runs alongside Disneyland. This area fills the gap between North Street and, the, and Palm Avenue north of the Anaheim Colony District. There are approximately 180 qualifying historical structures in this area, mostly of French, English, and Spanish architectural styles. The last district to be incorporated was Hoskins, which was founded in December of 2008. Like Five Points, this area was originally a part of the Anaheim Colony District. However, it became its own independent district due to its intact collection of interesting homes that were built in the 1940s and 50s. This area represents a more modern time in Anaheim, reflecting the area immediately following World War II. This district really showcases the rise in popularity 
of the ranch-style home following World War II. This area resides on the north side of what was originally the Anaheim Colony District. Now that we've seen what type of houses reside in Anaheim, the historical significance, when they date back to, we're going to go into the research part of our instruction, which will detail how to locate information about your specific home, whatever district it may reside in.